Welcome back to another Kyokushin Society vlog where we discuss Kyokushin Karate and other martial arts related content. There are a lot of studies and it is known that karate began as a common fighting system among the Pekin class of Ryokuans. It was developed in the Ryoku kingdom from the indigenous Ryokun martial arts called Te, under the influence of Kung Fu master Fujian White Crane. Karate is a predominantly striking art that uses punches, kicks, knee strikes, elbows and open hand techniques. Some styles also practice grappling and groundwork. Karate is a martial art developed in what is now known as Okinawa, Japan. But the name karate itself was not used as much in Okinawa. Okinawa was always affected by an influx from its southern border, and it was believed that in that way some striking techniques were brought in and handed down as Okinawate. The Chinese Kempo brought into Okinawa, Japan was called Tode to distinguish it from Okinawa De. The original use of the word karate is attributed to Anko Itotsu, who introduced the art of Okinawa Te to the country. Anko Itotsu was a low rank Ryokun Pekin. He began his Tode, which means karate, study under Nagahama Chikudun Pekin, and his study of the art then led him to Sokon Matsumura who was one of the original karate masters of Okinawa. During his own teaching years, Anko Itotsu students included Motobu Choyu, 1857-1928, who was the head martial arts instructor to the last king of the Ryoku kingdom, King Shotai. Kensu Yabu, who was a prominent teacher of Shoun Ryu karate in Okinawa from the 1910 until the 1930s. Chomo Hanashiro, 1869-1945, who was an Okinawan martial arts master notable for the evolution of Shonryu Karate and was the first to formally use the Kanji Kata. Ento Itotsu also taught many other masters of different styles. Anko Itotsu also served as a secretary to the last king of the Ryoku kingdom until Japan abolished Okinawa-based native monarchy in 1879. In 1901, he was instrumental in getting karate introduced into Okinawa schools and in 1905, Itotsu was a part-time teacher of Tode at Okinawa's first junior prefectural high school. It was there that he developed the systematic method of teaching karate techniques that are still in practice today. He created and introduced the pinan forms as the learning steps for the students. Because he felt the older forms were too difficult for school children to learn. Anko Itotsu's style of karate Shonin Ryu came to be known as Itotsu Ryu in recognition of his skill mastery and role as teacher to many students. Kara was used during the To era in Japan, meaning China, and Te meaning hand, thus the name China hand which later transformed into empty hand as we know it as karate. Gikin Funakoshi explains, Since there are no written records, it is not known definitely whether kara in karate was originally written with the character meaning China or the character meaning empty. During the time when admiration for China and things Chinese was at its height in the Ryukus, it was the custom to use the former character when referring to things of fine quality. In 1901, when Okinawa Te was adopted as a regular course of training in Okinawan schools, it was by then called karate. The first documented use of kara was done by Chomo Hanashiro. Chomo Hanashiro used the term karate in his personal writings dating from August 1905 where he used the word karate to describe his martial art in the publication Karate Kumite. 
He voluntarily replaced the old ideogram of To or Tang, a term by which Okinawa martial arts became known as, by that of Kara because of their phonetic similarities to slightly modify the meaning of them. Kara, Te, equals empty hand, means in the sense of emptiness in Zen Buddhism. On October 25, 1936, Hanashiro also participated with Kensuyabo in the assembly of the great masters of Okinawa Karate, where he advocated and obtained the official adoption of the term Karate, empty hand. Hanashiro died in 1945 during World War II bombardments of the American military on Okinawa. These bombings caused 60,000 civilian casualties in 82 days. Then, in 1933, the Okinawan martial arts of karate was recognized as a Japanese martial art by the Japanese martial arts committee known as Budoku Kai. Until 1935, karate was written as Chinese hen. But in 1935, the masters of the various styles of Okinawan karate conferred to decide a new name for the art and decided to call their art karate, written in Japanese characters as empty hand. It was actually accurate and okay to write karate as empty hand, since the Kempo of Okinawa was also an art of protecting oneself barehanded. Another development was the addition of Do behind karate, which has meanings like road, path, or way. Do is used in many martial arts that survived Japan's tradition from feudal culture to modern times. The word Do implies that the karate style is not just a fighting system, but contains spiritual elements when promoted as a discipline. In this context, Do is translated as the way of. Thus, karate Do is more than just empty hand techniques. It actually is the way of the empty hand. To adequately comprehend karate, there is a Buddhist enlightenment which says, everything is empty originally. All in the world is empty. From nothing was created everything. And as Kichin Funakoshi explained in his book, Introduction to Karate Do, the mind of those who learn karate should be empty, cleared of selfish and evil thoughts. With this, he suggests the basic innocence and spirituality of karate. And then he continues on. For only with the clear mind and conscience can the practitioner understand the knowledge which he receives. Kichin Funakoshi truly believed that one should be inwardly humble and outwardly gentle. Only by behaving humbly can one be open to karate's many lessons. As on the origin of karate, this martial arts got its roots in the Ryuko Kingdom on the island of Okinawa with the influence of Chinese Kung Fu, which in turn had been influenced by ancient Indian martial arts. Karate made its way and was widely known and spread in Japan during the Meiji era. The Emperor of Japan annexed Ryuko Kingdom in 1879. Then karate came to Japan in the early 20th century during a time of migration as Ryukuans, especially from Okinawa, looked for work in the main islands of Japan. Karate was then systematically taught in Japan after the Taisho era of 1912 to 1926. In 1922, the Japanese Ministry of Education invited Gichin Funakoshi to Japan, Tokyo to give a karate demonstration. 1924 is when Keiko University established the first university karate club in mainland Japan. And by 1932, many major universities followed suit and established their own karate clubs also. After the World War II, in 1945, Okinawa became an important United States military site and karate became popular among servicemen stationed there. Kyokushin karate started getting its roots with Sosei Masayama before World War II when he started his training in Shotokan karate as he states in his book What is Karate? Karate had not yet been long introduced into Japan at that time and it was far less familiar to the people and less popular as a student sport than it is today. I was intensely fascinated by karate. I wanted a good instructor and called at the Shotokan, a karate school operated by Mr. Giko Funakoshi, who was then considered the veteran master of karate. 
He was the third son of Master Gichin Funakoshi, who introduced karate to Japan from Okinawa. Sosei Masayama then studied Goju Ryu karate for several years with Ni Chuso, who was a fellow Korean from Sosei native Providence and a senior student of the system's founder, Kojun Miyagi. In 1953, Sosei Masayama opened his own karate dojo named Oyama Dojo in which he taught a form of Goju Ryu, and then in 1957, in a ceremony, Sosei Masayama called his style Kyoku Shinkai, Japan Karate Do Kyoku Shinkai, which means the Ultimate Truth Association. From its origin among the Peking class of the Ryukons, karate had developed into many styles and spread across the globe rapidly in the 1950s and 1960s, and by the 1970s, karate had formed as a mainstream genre in movies all over the world. Its roots are portrayed in movies like The Karate Kid from 1984, then part 2 and 3 of The Karate Kid in 1986 and 1989, and Cobra Kai TV series which season 3 just aired in January of this year 2021. Karate is practiced all over the world daily by many practitioners and is still growing and evolving every day. Anybody who learns karate's techniques can demonstrate its speed, agility, beauty, and power. Karate is a martial art which can be mastered by anybody, no matter of age or gender, through vigorous training. It is also a very good way to achieve health and maintain a physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. Us. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next video. Arigato.